shout out to some pairs. The guy literally just snapped me as I'm making this video. This guy's a loyal sub, so I'm giving him a quick shout out. If you want to be one of these, follow me on Snapchat. I'll put the thing on the screen there. My nigga. Hey guys, T Max Shine again, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you another squad builder, but before I get into things, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. There's a bunch of you subscribing, liking my videos, and I'm very appreciative of that. I've seen in the comment section as well, a lot of you guys are suggesting squads for me to make. If you have your own, make sure to put them down in the comment section, as I will be making these squads in the future. But with that aside, today I'm going to be bringing you a hybrid squad builder featuring the League 1 as well as the Russian League. If you want to buy this, this squad will cost you around 30k coins but bear in mind prices are always changing i bought it for 28k and now it's probably worth about 30k so bear that in mind as well the formation i'm using is the 352 i haven't really used much of this so i'm probably gonna have to explain to you guys how i use it and with that said let's actually start building this team as my goalkeeper i have a supersitch whom you might have seen in my past league one squad builder if you haven't check it out it's linked down in the description and he cost me 750 coins which was pretty cheap as you can see there. Decided to use Young Mbiwa, Kana as well as Sane as my three centre backs. I won't really go into their details but as you can see there, Sane cost me 1000 coins and he's got some decent stats on him. Kana cost me 400 coins which is OP given the fact that he's got 75 defending, 79 physical, 72 pace and Young Mbiwa cost me 3.5k coins which in fact was worth it because in game he's a beast. CDM I have Gonalons as well as Talese so I'll use this guy in my league one squad. He's OP as you can see. He only cost me 2.6k which probably seems expensive because it's only 77 rated but he's a beast player and Gun Alonso, as you can see there only cost me 1.8k which is actually cheaper than a player who's lower rated than him but look at his stats 83 defending 83 physical and I haven't used him in game and it says his shot is 62 and I'm gonna tell you now guys that is a lie my left mid and right mid are Entep and Asalandrini. These guys are both OP. Covered them once before. As you can see, he cost me 1.8k. 4 star skills, 4 star skill moves. 91 pace and 79 dribbling. And Entep on the other side cost me 5.9k coins. But definitely worth it with decent stats on him as well. Up top, I went with Musa, Dumbia and Aramenko to complete this hybrid. And as you can see there, we have a Russian League slash League 1 hybrid. Aramenko, as you can see here, cost me 1.4k coins, which is pretty cheap regarding. He's got 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, and a decent card on him. That 83 passing and 77 pace on him is lethal. And up top, we obviously have Musa to start us off. He's got that 93 pace, as you can see, then 82 dribbling. And he cost me 6k coins, which is definitely worth it and next Dumbia the sweat king from FIFA 1514 past few FIFAs cost me 3k 91 pace 79 dribbling as well and yeah this is the team right you guys are probably thinking how do you use this 352 formation and I'm gonna jump into the instructions right now and show you what instructions are put on each player to allow this team to play the best it can. I'm starting off, I'll move to my left mid and right mid, so I'll move over to Entep. As you can see there, I've set him so he can come back on defense, and I've also set his interceptions as aggressive interceptions, so once he comes back, you can actually take the ball off people. On the other side of Asal and Dreen, I've done exactly the same. On my center backs, I've pretty much set the same player instructions. They all literally stay back while attacking and have conservative interceptions. I've done this so they don't push too hard to try to get the ball off people and if they do get the ball off people they go back into their positions. And on my CDMs I have the same once again basically cut passing lanes as well as stay back while attacking. This is it and let's jump into a game. So this is the team I'm coming up against guys, it's actually one of my friends teams and it looks like a pretty decent BPL team. Let's hope this team does well against it. Come on. There we go, great interception by Gunnar Long. He's not the fastest, but he's quite OP. Ah, oh, got blocked off. Oh, with a shot from Tuliso. Oh my day. Back to Tuliso. Okay, Tuliso, smash it. Bang! Oh, what a goal. Nice header, but I think that was Tuliso. That was actually my centre back with the goal, so good to see. Boom, what a tackle. Come on, a Romanko, that's strength, that's strength, finish it. Oh, how is that not a goal? Romanko, or someone. Oh, oh, my freaking days. Oh, my days. You guys just saw that. 
That was not freaking fake at all, my freaking name. Who was that? Who actually was that? Gondolons! This dude's only got 67 pace, but he can score goals like that. Right, guys, as you can see, it's half time. He's got more possession, but I've got more shots on target. Let's jump into the second half and hopefully win this. Come on, boys. Pressure. Boom! Save. The keeper is a beast. Come on. Gumbia. Come on. Oh, Gumbia. Oh, Come on, oh, stop, play it back, finish it, boom, 3-0, here we go, no support, across net, oh wow, 4-0, guys, like, this game is over now, 4-0, wow, come on, what a stop, what a save, this key for me just on another level. That's the end of the game, guys. We've actually managed to pull off a win. 4-0 at the end of that. Dumbia was man of the match with a 9.3 rating. The Sweat King is freaking back. What a freaking game by Dumbia. Overall, he's got two goals. We had a goal from Gonalon, an insane goal, and one from a centre back. Once again, this is the full team, as you can see. It plays OP. The only thing I didn't really like about this team was Musa. It wasn't really as good as I thought it was going to be. This team probably won't cost you more than 30 to 40k coins, so definitely try it out if you want to play with a different kind of hybrid. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, it would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you want to see more FIFA 16 content. That's about it from me today. This is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys, and see ya. <laughs> This is the end of the video, hi yeah. If you enjoy, just comment and subscribe what? Wanna see more, don't forget to leave a like Do it! <laughs> this is T-Max signing out